drawing African flags from memory. Okay, let's spin the wheel. Let's see which African country flag we'll be drawing first. And it is... Ooh, is that Botswana? It is! Right, okay. Now, Botswana isn't too difficult, but there's gonna be some tricky flags in this video. And I wanna make sure, nice and early, everyone knows I'm gonna struggle, okay? Some of these flags are quite obscure. Okay, so is it blue there, blue there, and then is it black there, or is it black here? No, 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 it's black there. That already doesn't feel quite right. I think everything's a bit too thick, isn't it? Okay, let me go again. Yeah, I think all of the lines need to be just closer together like this. Okay, blue, blue, and then it's black in the middle, isn't it? And then get rid of these little bits of blue. There we go, that's more like it. Okay, computer, please reveal the actual Botswana flag. And yeah, there we go. So the blue is a little too dark, but I was just picking default ones from Microsoft Paint, so that's an easy full point to begin with. Okay, time for our second flag. The wheel is spinning. I'm terribly excited. Hopefully nothing too obscure. And oh, is that Djibouti? Oh no, it's Mauritania. Mauritania. Literally nothing is coming to mind for Mauritania. All I can think of is the Malawi flag with the black and the red and the sunset. Oh no, but what's Mauritania? Right, the only thing that is coming to mind is a three stripe with colours like black and then red and then green. So I will create that and we'll see if anything's coming to mind. Mm, no, that's not right, is it? Could it be green in the middle and red at the bottom? No, definitely not. Red at the top maybe with black at the bottom? No. Nope. Okay, what about black in the middle and green at the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> kind of looking very Libyan at the minute, isn't it? Hang on, doesn't the Mauritanian cross have a yellow Islamic moon? I think I'm mixing a few flags together, but I'm just gonna have to put whatever I can think of. Okay, and then let me get a start, and then let me just colour both of those in. I think I'm mixing flags together. This looks more like the Libyan flag. But computer, please reveal the flag of Mauritania. Here we go. Um, yeah. Yeah, that is completely wrong. That is no points. I mean, if we were to take our crescent moon and flip it this way, and then we make the middle green and the bottom red, it's suddenly a lot better. <laughs> All right, we're spinning again. Hopefully something less obscure than Mauritania this time. And it is, oh, Kenya, Uganda, Uganda. Okay. Uganda is somewhat complicated. It's black, yellow, and red with a bird in the middle. But the thing I'm going to struggle with is just the actual order of the colors and also how many stripes. I need to do because already this feels like it might be too many but you know what I've committed to it at this point so we're just gonna have to see it all the way through <laughs> yeah surely that is too many colors right we'll do black on the top then we'll do red underneath no nope, let's do yellow underneath like that and then I'll do red followed by white and then repeat so then black again yellow red leave a gap for white go back to the black oh that's a thick one and then the yellow like <laughs> this is not looking right maybe there is no white maybe it's back to black right start Start again, start again, start again. Okay, if I draw them without outlines, it might make it a bit easier. Let's do black to begin with. And then I'm doing the yellow, which already doesn't look right. And then I'm doing the red, and it's looking like some kind of weird, dodgy German flag. Okay, we're gonna try and just repeat this pattern and hope it all comes together nicely. Here we go. Yeah, that could be about right. I wonder if there's meant to be white or not. I have no idea. Okay, now I need what I think is... Is it white circle? Or what about black? Could it be black? Nah, we'll stick with white. And now I just need to draw a cool-looking bird. Which way is the bird looking? Wow, this is one cool looking bird. <laughs> I think I've drawn a Uganda flag in a previous drawing flags memory video. So my hope is that this is at least a bit better. Right, I'm going to make it red because I feel like the bird itself is actually black. Whoa, that looks terrifying. Let's make it yellow. <laughs> Change it back. Let's keep it white. It's definitely got black on it though. So I'm going to do little black bits over the top like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll show it a bit of yellow as well. There we go. And then more black, more black, please. Just kind of around the outside. Wow, I have spent a long time on this one. It's definitely not right. The colours in the background aren't 100%, but hopefully we can be somewhere close. Computer, please reveal the Uganda flag. Here we go. Okay, okay. I think that could have gone worse. The background colours are correct, but I've just done too many stripes and they're not quite in the right order, but I'm really proud that I've got the right colours. Our bird also has the white circle. It is facing the wrong way, but it does also have all of the correct colours, just not in the right place. And considering it's a Microsoft Paint version, it's not too bad. So let's give ourselves half a point for that one. I'm quite pleased with that. <laughs> right, we're spinning again. Oh, please not another Mauritania type thing. What we got, what we got, what we got? 
Oh, Burkina Faso. Uh, I think that should be okay, actually. Even though Burkina Faso is one of the more obscure African countries, weirdly, I think I just know what the flag is. So I'm pretty sure it's red on the top and then green on the bottom, or it might be the other way around. Uh, yeah, let's do green at the top. And then I think there's literally just a yellow star in the middle, and then that's literally about it. Oh, do you think I should swap the colors again? I feel like maybe I should. So we do green at the bottom and we do red at the top. Yeah, that looks better. I'm sticking with that, please. Okay, Burkina Faso flag, please reveal yourself. Spot on! That's absolutely perfect! <laughs> the star's in the right place, the colours are in the right place. I am thrilled with that. For that one, give me a point and also a little asterisk that says that I'm epic. Yeah, there we go. Hold my head up high for that one. Alright, I've spun the wheel again and we are landing on Burundi. Burundi, Burundi, Burundi. I've got something in my head for Burundi, but this is definitely not going to be right. Ooh, hang on. Something's coming to me. There's stars that have a red outline and they're white in the middle. I think that's correct anyway. So to begin with, I'm gonna turn everything red and then I feel like, do I need green on like the sides like this? Oh, it's already definitely going astray. <laughs> I feel like the red's meant to be white. We've got a dodgy Nigerian flag at the minute. Let's try and make the stars and we'll go from there. So I feel like it's something like this. Oh, this is definitely not correct. I don't know how else to piece this together. Is it red on the side and then green in the middle? Maybe the red's the other way up. So we've got a red at the top and the bottom instead instead of on the sides. Yeah, that could be more like it. I'm honestly not sure on this one, so I think I'm just gonna call it quits and we'll see how close we were. Uh, <laughs> you can see what I was trying to get at. Fair enough. Now I can see why my shapes weren't working. It's a cool looking flag, that one. All right, we got the colors. We got three stars. Let's give ourselves quarter of a point. Okay, time to spin the wheel again. What are we gonna land on this time? Oh, very exciting. And it is Namibia. Is it Namibia? It is Namibia. Um, <laughs> nothing is going to mind again. I'm going to attempt something, and this honestly could be completely wrong, but I think we've got some diagonals in the Namibia flag, and I'm potentially getting it mixed up with DRC here, but I think there's a... Yeah, that's definitely DRC that I've done there. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to try some different colour combinations and see if anything jumps into my head. I am not feeling good about this one bit. This is not going to be a good score this time. Let's do a bit of green, a bit of red, <laughs> and then... Ooh, a bit of yellow wine. <laughs> this is so wrong, I don't know what it is. I literally have no idea, I can't remember. Mmm, the blue looks nice. That makes a nice flag, so to be honest, I might just commit to it, because I literally can't think of anything else. Computer, please reveal the Namibian flag. Oh my god, my colours are in the right place. <laughs> So we needed a darker blue, and then we needed white in between the stripes, and also the star should be a sun. <laughs> but things are in the correct kind of place. I think I'm gonna take quarter of a point and I'm gonna get the hell out of here. <laughs> So here we go. What are we going to land on? And it is... Oh, is it Morocco? No, it's Niger. Niger should be okay. I should be able to get easy points here. So the flag of Niger is very, very similar to the flag of India, but just the centerpiece has less detail on it. Is that right? Are the colours the correct way? Maybe it's orange at the top and green at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And then all we need is a little circle in the middle, and then that is pretty much it. Let's reveal the flag of Niger. Here we go. Spot on. Perfect. That's a full point. Thank you very much. <laughs> so therefore, we're going to spin again and what are we going to land on this time? And it is... Is it Chad's? No, it's Mauritius. Mauritius. So the way I originally remembered the Mauritius flag was by saying delicious Mauritius because the flag looked really pretty and it was like a lot of chocolate bars laid next to each other. Now, I'm definitely going to get the order of the colours wrong, but I'm just going to try and draw them best I can. So there's definitely blue in there. And there's going to be some red in there. Already this looks incorrect. <laughs> uh, let's get a nice bit of orange. Why not? I'm going to get rid of that red. The red definitely throwing something off. I think there is green in there. Okay, now let me add that red. There's probably red at some point. Yeah, this is actually looking okay. I might just duplicate that, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's my guess for the Mauritius flag. It's definitely incorrect, but hopefully we can be kind of close. Oh, I really overdid that. <laughs> <laughs> However, I've got all of the colours, haven't I? Yes, I do! Not in the correct order, but they're there, and they're also there twice for some reason. I don't know whose idea it was to add that second level. <laughs> okay, we've got the stripes, we had the correct colours, but we did too many and they're in the wrong order. Let's give ourselves quarter of a point again. Our penultimate spin. I want to end on a couple of goodies. We're going to do one more after this, but for now, we are drawing... Liberia. Okay. Right, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the Liberia flag is based off the US flag. So we need to begin with some red and white stripes. Here we go. And then I think it's just a star up in the corner, but I'm not 100% sure. Is the star literally just black like that? It could be. Mm, I don't think it is, though. Could it be yellow? Mm, maybe it could be. 
be yellow. Could it be green? Don't think it could be green. Maybe it's blue. I'm worried I'm starting to get mixed up with Malaysia, but I might settle on that. All right, let's reveal the Liberia flag. Oh, that's why I wanted blue. That makes sense. Oh. <laughs> I knew that the blue was speaking to me for a reason, and I knew something wasn't quite right with this shape, but that explains it. All right, well, that's half a point, isn't it? Because we were pretty close. And now here we are, time for our final country of Africa. This hasn't been too bad. We've embarrassed ourselves a few times, though. Ooh. I wish it was Somalia. Somalia would have been such an easy one, but it isn't. It's Djibouti. Oh, no, no. Okay. Djibouti, obviously an obscure country, but I've got something in my head, and I'm gonna see how we get on with it. So I think it is something like this. I feel like there is green there, and then I think I need blue up the top. Oh my god, that looks right. That is calling on something in my brain right now. And then I think there's just a little star, and I feel like the star is red. I'm gonna put it right there. That looks like a real flag. I think that this is the the Djibouti flag. And I will be chuffed with myself if I've got it right. Okay, let's reveal. Yeah! <laughs> it's basically spot on. That is an exact Microsoft Paint version of the Djibouti flag. But I've nailed it. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty happy with that overall. We didn't do too badly. Here's my full score on screen. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe as we are getting very close to a million subscribers on this channel. And many of you might have been watching my videos for a while and you've just not actually gone and clicked that button yet. But it would really help me out. So thank you very much. I'll see you later. Later. <laughs>